For anyone battling the cold and snow, spring can come soon enough. And this weekend, there's a sure sign of the changing season. Tonight, most of us spring forward to daylight saving time, but losing an hour of sleep brings mixed reaction. Christine Birak explains. My sleep is non-existent almost. Um, three hour blocks most, of the, most nights. It doesn't get any cuter or more tiring than this. Bumpy Rhoda, bumpy Rhoda. Bumpy indeed. Researchers say parents lose between 400 and 750 hours of sleep in the first year. So how does that feel? A little bit zombie-like, but again, you get used to it. We're about to have another baby, so I would assume we'll become even more sleep deprived. Add to that, daylight saving begins this weekend. Most Canadians will put their clocks forward, losing an hour. You'd think sleep deprived parents would be hit hardest. We asked the source. Lola, are you a good sleeper? Lola. Lola? <laughs> yes, she is a good sleeper, except she wakes up around 5.30. So I'm assuming when the time changes, she'll sleep till 6.30 and hopefully that will stick. While new parents may be looking forward to the time change, sleep experts say not so new parents may want to listen up. The ones that we worry about the most are the children, especially the teenagers who are already chronically sleep deprived. Now they're gonna be losing one extra hour of sleep and they're already playing catch up and now this is just an added hit. And another hit comes from our devices. For the old, young, and everyone in between, if you want a better night's sleep, researchers suggest turning off tablets, phones, and games at least an hour before you go to bed. And to bounce back from the time change, experts say try to avoid caffeine and alcohol on Saturday night. Go to bed early and skip the nap on Sunday. That way you'll be fresh and ready for work Monday morning. Christine Birak, CBC News, Toronto.